Let's continue the story of the Onesler and the Lorax. The Lorax is upset that the Onesler is chopping down trees, but the Onesler has learned how to make thneeds, builds a factory, gets all his family to make more and more thneeds per day. Then he is explaining to the Lorax, Oh baby, oh, how my business did grow. Now chopping one tree at a time was too slow. What did the Onesler do? So I quickly invented my super axe hacker, which whacked off four truffula trees at one smacker. We were making thneeds four times as fast as before, and that Lorax, he didn't show up anymore. So the Lorax disappeared, and the Onesler continued with his machine to whack off four truffula trees at one smacker with this new machine. So here we are with the one slur in chief private residence with his factory in the back of the needs and there is the Lorax again and there are the uh, Barbaloots that we talked about and now you can see a lot of stumps of the th truffula trees with just a few truffula trees still standing and the whacking super axe machine uh, the super axe hacker standing there but the next week he knocked on my new office door that's the Lorax knocking on the Onesler's office he snapped I'm the Lorax who speaks for the trees which, see which you seem to be chopping as fast as you please but I'm also in charge of the brown barbaloots who uh, played in the shade in their barbaloot suits and happily lived eating truffula fruits. Now, thanks to you are hacking my trees to the ground, there's not enough truffula fruit to grow around. And my poor barbaloots are all getting the crummies because they have gas and no food in their tummies. You can think of this as the impacts of climate change on health. As we said, as we increase the greenhouse gases, we are increasing pollution in the air, in the water, and in the food. And in fact, pollution is killing more people every year than the natural hazards like the storms and cyclones themselves and this is getting you know pollution is getting into everything uh, in your blood in your stomach in your brain in your food in your breast milk and so on and now we know that plastics have become a big menace with smaller and smaller plastics microplastics and nanoplastics which are also in your stomach and in your blood and in your breast milk and so on and so forth and we don't even yet know what the impacts of those uh, nanoplastics are on human brain and human health. Pollution is blamed for everything. Cardiovascular diseases, of course, asthma, blood pressure, diabetes, mental diseases, even the street dogs have been found with particulate matter in their brain and there is some theory that many of the street dogs are becoming aggressive and rapidly biting people un you know without any seeming cause because they are just becoming aggressive because of all the pollution damaging their brains okay so this is the story of the Lorax and the Onesler. Here we are looking at the Barbaloots and the Lorax. They love the living here, but I can't let them stay. They will have to find food, and I hope, and I hope that they may. Good luck, boys! He cried, and he sent them away. You can see the Barbaloots saying bye to the Lorax and walking away from the Truffalut, uh, sorry, Truffala tree forest where the Onesler has now taken over with all the chopping. I once, uh, I, the Onesler, felt sad as I watched them all go, but business is business and business must grow regardless of the crummies in the tummies, you know? So there are the Barbaloots walking away in a long line with a few truffula trees still standing, nice and colorful, but a lot of stumps over there and the Onesler is feeling sad for what he did to the Barbaloots but he says business is business and this is a bit more complicated because as I said before if you think corporations like 
whoever you can think of Apple Amazon Google Microsoft and so on are evil who are these corporation there is no one slur who's sitting there and owning these they have CEOs they have board of governors they have managers they have workers but these corporations are owned by people they sell shares Apple shares are very valuable because it makes a lot of money you may not even know your parents may not even know what shares they own because they may have a retirement account or a mutual fund and that mutual fund will be investing in many companies and you don't know which companies they are so it's not a person corporation is not a one slur who's living in a house and is you know uh, doing all these things it's the people who own these companies and some of them don't even know they own it and they feel bad as well for what's happening the needs are here again with the factory fuming away putting out greenhouse gases with all the stock of you know materials piled up here and you need a need so this is the road that is going north, that's going west, that's going south and east and more and more snakes are being shipped out all across the town and people are buying them left and right and the trufula trees are getting chopped down more and more to keep up the demand for the snead and people who buy the snead don't even know necessarily what's happening, what one slur, what the one slur is doing uh, to the trufula forest and what is happening to the barbaloots here. Okay, so then the one slur has got lots of factory and mechanization and lots of uh, ways of uh, processing the trufula trees quickly and converting them into the needs with these mechanizations just like we did through the industrial revolution but the one slur continues to feel bad and now he says I meant no harm I mostly truly did not I most truly did not but I had to grow bigger so bigger I got I uh, biggered my factory, I biggered my roads, I biggered my wagons, I biggered the loads of the needs. I shipped out, I was shipping them forth to the south, to the east, to the west, uh, to the north. I went right on bloggering, and uh, right on biggering, selling more needs, and I biggered my money which everyone needs. So this is another thing you have to figure out. How much money do you need? How much parents think they need? They are saving for your future. You are a kid. You have to grow up, have a good life, go to college and so on. So they worry about you. So obviously they think it's all for you, for your good future. But what if all the environment is destroyed for your future as well so here is the pipe house and here is the Lorax again then again the Lorax came back I was fixing some pipes when that old nuisance Lorax came back with more gripes I'm the Lorax he coughed and he whiffed he sneezed and he snuffled he snazzled he sniffed one slur he cried with a crufulous croak one snur, you are making such a smogulous smoker, my poor snow snowy <laughs> sorry, my poor swomy swans, why they can't sing the note, no one can sing who has smog in his throat. So now you have all these asthma and breathing diseases, cardiovascular diseases, lung diseases, throat diseases, all of them are related to pollution and the smogulous smoker that are used now to make everything. The computer I'm using to make these podcasts, the shirt I'm using, the glasses I'm wearing, the phone I have and so on and so forth. So we are all in this together but the Lorax is the one who is speaking for the trees and you can see here the Swomi, uh, wow this bird's name I have to keep remembering but you should actually read and make, make sure you remember the swarmy swan is huffing and puffing and you can see that he's in a bad shape and he can barely swing uh, sing with all these 
pollution in his throat and the smoker is billowing out more and more smoke even the vehicle the, that's carrying the needs is billowing smoke to the sky and we have created so much pollution that we don't even know how many people are always dying for uh, pollution sake so and so said the Lorax please pardon my cough they cannot live here so I am sending them off so here is the Lorax telling the swarmy swans to go away and not suffer in this smoke from the Thneed factory that the Wansler has set up and all the trees that he's chopping down okay so we'll take a break here and come back and continue but the story is amazing it's telling you in your kid language what Wansler is doing and Wansler here represents what humanity is doing in chopping down everything and creating things that people don't even they know they need you prepare them and you sell them and you sell them and people buy them and they buy them they are sitting far away from where the trees are chopped and where the factory is but some are working in the factory and getting sick some are living around the factory and getting sick some are chopping down the trees and feeling bad and so on and so forth so we'll come back and continue the Lorax and the Wansler story